Hello, I'm Alan. I'm one of the licensed lay ministers in the Elmwood Trinity Benefice. Welcome to this reflection for Wednesday, the 16th of June. We're going to be looking at Matthew chapter 6, verses 6 and then 16 to 18. The verses go like this. Jesus says, But whenever you pray, go into your room and shut the door, and pray to your Father who is in secret, and your Father who sees in secret will reward you. And then verse 16 onwards. And whenever you fast, do not look dismal like the hypocrites, for they disfigure their faces so as to show others that they are fasting. Truly, I tell you, they have received their reward. But when you fast, put oil on your head and wash your face so that your fasting may not be seen by others, but by your father who is in secret. And your father who sees in secret will reward you. Now bear with me, just as a little bit of a story first and then we'll get back to the passage. You may know the bridge on the road between Barrick and Garforth. That's the one that goes by the golf club and then it goes over the narrow bridge. The bridge goes over the Cock Beck and that's the point where Long Lane Barrick changes into Barrick Road, Garforth. It's a single carriageway bridge with one direction having priority and you would be amazed at the number of standoffs that there have been recently where one driver believes they've got priority and blocks a car coming the other way. Eventually, of course, other, other vehicles build up behind each one and the whole area becomes filled with argument and tension uh, and no one goes anywhere. It's all a matter of priorities. And our Bible passage today is all about priorities. And the incidents at the bridge can help us reflect on what happens when priorities get out of harmony or out of balance. The, the underlying question in Jesus' words is this, is your eye fixed on God or on someone or something else? For those first hearers, Jesus framed the question in terms of the practice of fasting. When you fast, are you doing it with an eye on letting everyone know you are fasting or on deepening your relationship with God? If we dig a little deeper, we can widen the question to embrace everything we do, not just fasting. Why am I doing that? Well, that could be anything. Why could be a whole range of motives. Uh, to give me satisfaction, to make me popular, to do some good, and so on. Jesus is encouraging you and me to occasionally ask ourselves, why am I doing that? And he is encouraging us to work towards the answer because it brings me closer to God. The passage is about learning to love and serve God for himself and not for any reward or gain for ourselves. We love and serve God because he is our Heavenly Father who loves and cares deeply for us and for no other reason. It's really hard to peel away all the secondary motives for loving and serving God and love and serve him just for himself. Let's go back to the bridge again and see what happens when priorities get confused. I remember one occasion a fierce argument broke out on social media about a photograph of one such standoff. Comments came thick and fast with people taking sides. The silver car had priority. No, the blue car was already on the bridge when the silver one arrived, so it had priority. Read the highway code. And then came one standout comment. Well done, the young man who sorted it all out. Perhaps the driver of the silver car was on the, the side with the sign with the priority arrow. Perhaps the blue car driver tried to race over first and got caught out. Perhaps both were partly right. But if the priority is to allow traffic to cross the bridge safely, they were both totally wrong. Everything except tempers seized up. Tempers flew freely. Maybe we want God's love to flow in and out of us freely. It's as good an answer as any to, why am I doing this? Get our priorities sorted. Am I doing this simply because God is God 
and that free flow of his love can have a chance. Am I doing this simply because God is God and to give that free flow of his love a chance? A prayer. We give you our thanks, loving God, for all the gifts you have given us for use today. Keep our hearts open to your love and grace so that we may love and serve you with a pure heart and mind. Amen.